Hello everyone, Creative Inus here and look at this beautiful animation and this has been done using the morph transition in Microsoft PowerPoint and you know Microsoft PowerPoint morph transition is one of the most interesting and innovative kind of transition. It really creates smooth transition between the slides and that's what you need to you know impress your clients. So if you love us you can support us in the form of subscribes, memberships, and like and share. So coming back to the tutorial, very first step as usual, insert this square or rectangle, whatever you call it. Remove its outline, then use this option from the 3D rotation menu and from the 3D format menu, use this option, increase its width, as you can see on the screen and slightly increase its height as well so 3d options in microsoft powerpoint are really awesome and it can help you achieve some awesome results with the help of shapes and it helps in creating isometric design so yeah it's it's a great option to look at the things from a different perspective so here our shape is ready now duplicate it and deduce its width and height and place it over the previous shape similarly duplicate reduce its height and width again and make sure it is well aligned. Alignment is very important in every presentation. Now again duplicate it and follow the same process. So it's a kind of pyramidal structure. Then we have placed these tiles on the top of each other. So as you can see on the screen, what we are doing is we are reusing the shapes and and this is really beneficial if you want to save time. So when you start thinking about designing any slide, so you can create a theme where you can decide the kind of shapes that you will use throughout the slides so that way you would be able to save time by reusing all those shapes again and again in different sizes throughout the slides so that's how you can save time so your first slide will take time and then moving on to the other slides you will take less time to design the slides so that's how it works so now we have placed all the shapes so I've changed the material to metallic and experimenting with the lighting angle here you can also try it now it's the time to fill some colors here so I'm going with blue this time you can you can choose the colors based on the theme your logo your brand guidelines or color schemes or you can look for different color palettes in Google images and there you can find lots of options and you can use those color palettes Well, coloring is an art and you just can't go and fill any random color here and there. You need to learn how to choose complementary colors and there is a complete color theory behind it. And colors are something which helps, you know, any user to take a key decision based on the design they see. So for example, you have a, you have a website and your website has lots of graphics but it's the color of the graphics that decides 
the fate of your business objectives that you want to achieve so here we have applied the reflection on the last shape the bottom shape so that a nice shadow effect is coming out now we have slightly adjusted the background a gradient background that we have created now so our design is almost ready now we need to play with the morph transition and some text that's it it's a very simple slide and nothing you know complex here we haven't created any you know big design slide here we have kept everything small and simple it's just this pyramidal shape and the text that's it and we can play with the morph transition here so let's first write the title of the slide and we have pasted at the center of the slide so we have duplicated this slide and we have moved this pyramidal shape to the left ungroup it in any in any morph transition make sure that your shapes are ungrouped now we are writing some random text here so we are using railway font and this is the new font that i'm using you can download it from the google fonts and this font looks really amazing as you can see on your screen especially with the lowercase sentences it is a very nice font beautiful looking font so we have placed the text here now what we're gonna do is we will duplicate it and let's shift the last shape towards the bottom and write some more text here the next slide that you want to showcase you don't have to go with the text styling that i'm using here you can put anything you want here based on your presentation slides or information or topic i'm just writing random text here so text styling is also an art always spend some time while designing the slides to make sure the text is looking good always use the combination of bold underline font size to highlight important words in your text that you want the users to see if you write a plain sentence then it will create less impact as compared to a bold font statement or word even if you look at the different websites of top companies for example apple they highlight keywords they highlight their titles in a different font and size so they put the words in your mind so that's the strategy behind text styling so what happens when i get the slides for designing i see that lots of you know my clients send me presentation where they have written complete sentences in a paragraph mode so this is not a word document where you want to showcase complete paragraph you need to convert that paragraph you need to break down the points you need to you know pull out the important keywords important notes out of those sentences and then present those key points with the help of graphics in the powerpoint that's the purpose of any presentation so that's why i always tell in my videos that always use less text important keywords important points with the help of graphics and your presentation will perform better
with every slide keep on shifting the shapes towards the bottom so i'm writing kpis on every slide that we have achieved of course these are dummy it takes lots of effort even to write some dummy text well i'm repeating the steps here so meanwhile what you can do is you can hit the subscribe button below this video and you can also join the membership if you haven't so you can support us and this will really help us to come out with more such beautiful concepts and also do not forget to download this template from the G drive link provided in the video description so if you don't know in our every video we have placed a G drive link in the video description where we have provided the slide that we have designed and you can download it for free but always download after learning the video that's what our motive is to help you learn different styles design strategy behind designing any powerpoint presentation because most of the business deals throughout the world is carried out with the help of presentation wherever you go you need to present your presentation to close a business deal i mean most of the times so if you know how to create a beautiful presentation then you can do better in your sales or even as a project manager you can highlight your achievements so it's a win win situation if you know how to create beautiful presentations now ungroup every item make sure every item is ungrouped now we have removed all these points and we have shifted this top shape and select all press move and now you can see the magic now you can present your report like this so this is the business presentation that we have created and here are some of the great achievements for you so this is the report for 2019-20 so we have achieved 30% growth in manufacturing 50% growth in healthcare and 25% drop in the power theft so that's how you can present your presentation so i hope you like this design so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit the bell icon hit the like button like this video and share this video with your friends colleagues in your college so that's how you can help us so that's it for today thank you guys have a nice day peace